This is the great legend and I am coming at you live with a special video response to the one and only king of pop culture, Captain Strange Life, and his mystical emporium of mystical comics. <laughs> and lately, uh, the last video I watched, and I'll put the video in the um, video description, or the video link to the video description that I am responding to. Um, Hans was showing off lots of cool comic book covers that were very bizarre, weird, crazy, just really oddball covers. Um, and he was wanting to see some of um, his viewers. He wanted to see some of his subscribers, their bizarre covers. And so I wanted to kind of jump in, and I, I don't know if I've ever showed these before. Um, we all know, as Roger69501 always says, they're from the 90s, <laughs> or at least I think they are. I know some of them. Oh, yeah, they are from the 90s, yeah. Um, and, you know, it's sad to say, but I really don't have a lot of bizarre covers. You know, a lot of bizarre covers, um, Golden Age, Silver Age, well, there's bizarre covers for every... For all comics, you know. Wow, I'm gonna have to replace some of these bags. They're kind of old school, but yeah. So I wanted to show some of my bizarre covers, and I have some bizarre Leatherface covers. We all know Leatherface from the classic Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and he's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, um, kind of bad guys in horror movies. I just cause I love the chainsaw. Chainsaws um, in pop culture have become such a huge, huge thing um, in computer slash video games. Well, you know, the Atari actually had a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game uh, where you played le <laughs> Leatherface and you had to keep your chainsaw gassed up. But besides that, stepping into the old days of the early 90s, you know, you had the old PC game called Doom and Doom 2. Well, one of your weapons, your melee weapon, if you will, was a chainsaw and you know you just you know run into uh, the bad guys and kill them with the blood and everything so that was kind of the first big time you know bringing the chainsaw back I mean you know there was also the classic uh, Bruce Campbell Army of Darkness he had the chainsaw arm and everything but uh yeah I've always been a big Leatherface fan I love the chainsaw so I'm gonna show you some series that I have um, and I'm going to show you the most bizarre cover out of all of them. And I wish they were as cool as Captain Strangelife's covers. And Captain Strangelife also is the owner of a comic called Batman 66. Well, I think it's Batman issue 66. Or is it issue 44? It's the boner issue. I, I, I can't remember. <laughs> but that's a good issue. Um, first one I want to show you is from the 90s. These are all really good near men. I read them once and I bagged them and boarded them. And I think there's just... Still in the same bag, really. Um, this is by Topps Comics. Uh, Jason versus Leatherface, number one. It's where Jason and Leatherface fight. Very cool. This is Jason versus Leatherface, uh, issue number two, where Jason actually comes over for a nice Sawyer dinner at the Sawyer's house. You can see right there, it's old Grandpa Sawyer. You don't remember old Grandpa Sawyer? I know Mike Modell did an interview at one of the cons where he interviewed the guy that played Grandpa Sawyer. Oh, um, sorry, many of you might not know his real name, but that is Longbox Weekly Comic Book Reviews. This is issue three of Jason vs. Leather, Leatherface. And this is the final issue. This is the face-off. And you know, oh, two or three spine creases. Man, if I can go back in time and slap myself upside the head when I was a youngster. So don't get spine creases in the comics, boy. But, uh, no, um, this was pretty much my very first kind of mature comic book. You know, I, I know a lot of you like me telling some stories, but, um, back in 95, I think it was 95, maybe, maybe not 95, but I remember going to our local comic book shop. Um, Ken and Tanya, bastards, asshole scammers, always jacking the price up. This was in the catalog, the previous catalog, but I didn't really have a pull list there. I just went in there to buy comics off the uh, shelf. So I went back and bought these off of eBay uh, years later. 
you know, I guess in 95 or 96 when I was high school years. And I bought these off of eBay a lot later. Actually, I became a member of eBay in 99, so it couldn't have been then. So I'm trying to remember. I think I must have bought these off eBay sometime in February of 99. That's when I joined eBay, or maybe shortly thereafter. But I wanted to find these comic books. And I've, I've been an off and on again collector. You know, early 90s I was collecting. Um, late 90s I was collecting. Well, I guess that's how it was. Early 90s. All the way up to about 10th or 11th grade, I stopped and started back up again um, in my college years. So, yeah. And then, of course, stopped again and then started back up with Marvel Zombies. And here I am today. So, Jason versus Leatherface. Very cool. Um, and after I found out that those, because this was when, okay, so I'm a member of eBay, right? I'm like, oh, my God, eBay's really cool. There's a lot of stuff you can buy on eBay. So I looked for more Leatherface comics, and I came across this series here. North Star is the name of these, I think. North Star, is that the name of the outfit? Yeah, North Star Comics or something. And this was a four-part uh, series that came out in 1991, and it was just a bloody Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre story. It's four parts. There's cover one. This was cover two, and this was just really bloody, really violent. Um, tits, everything, all, all of it's in here. Titties, you know. This was the one I thought that was the most bizarre of my Leatherface collection, right here. Look at all the blood in this one. And you can see her breasts of her friend that's hanging up. That's a friend that's already dead, and that's the reflection coming from this weapon. Um, intestines, like knives and butcher knives and stuff back here. There's the classic pig hook that you remember he hung that girl on in um, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Very cool. I love the yellows, though. I mean, uh, Hans loves when um, the Spider-Man covers have, like, red and yellows in it and Hans this one's for you man this has a lot of red and yellow <laughs> red guts Burwell this is a guy Burwell did this cover on this one this guy named Poorman Burwell Burwell did some art here though I kind of like it this one here these are Burwell covers but this one's a Herman or Poorman cover but this is a painted cover okay and this is number four right here this isn't okay it's okay I mean they're in the swamp fighting he's got a guy he's over him Ooh, there's another little guy that's in there with a snake um, and he's kind of ripping the title in half I think that's kind of stupid because what I would have done on this cover Mr. Burwell I would have had him use the chainsaw and cut the title in half instead of this like he's grabbing off a chunk and just breaking it. it's like he's kind of like snapping an apple out of the tree so these are in the original uh, polypropylene bags um, so yeah one of these days I'll get these in Mylar but Hans these are kind of my um, I don't know it's sad in comparison compared to some of those cool bizarre covers because you have comics from all of them. Golden Age, Silver Age, Bronze, Modern, Copper. Maybe even some Platinum Age. Victorian. I don't know if you have Victorian. I mean, that's some old ass stuff. That's like, what is that, Hans? That's like the Old West. Those dime, mat, those dime books about Billy the Kid. No, I don't know. But yeah, man, those were some of my cool, scary covers. And I really dig this comic. When I read this comic, it was so much fun. Jason versus Leatherface by Tops. Very cool. Let's give it a little like preview picture. Like, uh, how do I want to do this? That'd be cool if I just like flick people off. I don't know if I do that. That's kind of mean. And that's a bad preview pick. But yeah, Hans, this is kind of my bizarre, creepy, weird covers. Just classics, you know. So I really like this one right here. Okay, there we go. That's my preview pick. 
But um, any kind of leather face covers, I just think are really cool. So anyways, everybody check out Hans. Hans also has passed 2,000 subscribers. You know what? He's actually passed 2,100 subscribers. And they just keep going up and up because with Hans, I mean, he's just got so much knowledge and some really great stories to tell. And that's just not because of his age. You know, I mean, any old guy can, like, tell you some stories. Shit, I had my grand, my granddad's brother, Uncle Russell. Now, he could tell some stories, and we just, well, I wouldn't because I was just a little kid. But all the other brothers, they just roll their eyes. Here we go again. Another one of those stories. But, you know, sign of respect is you listen to that person tell the stories. No matter how damn long you've heard the same ass story from your grandpa or from some old uncle, um, you keep listening because that's a sign of respect and you always want to respect your elders and I think uh, a lot of us need to do that. And There's some excellent elders in the comic book community like Hans, um, Captain Strangelight, Tom, Hippies Collectibles, Scott, Costin Bromstar, Tim Hallermouse, who's just, you know, really an old geezer but I love him to death um, just so many people so many pillars in the community that we need to listen to and respect and just um, they're just people I admire you know if you go to uh, youtube.com forward slash rdowdy95 and you look at the uh, right hand side of the screen over here um, you can see some of my pillars in the community that I really look up to even some of the younger guys like uh, Mr. Fixit Smash and uh, First Family of Comics and Q's Crusader and Roger. Actually, Roger's one of my elders I love listening to. My boy Duck Rank. All those people, um, they're sharp. You can just check them out. But fans, I'm I'm on a soapbox. Just listen to your elders. Not that Captain Strange laughs as an elder, and I wanted to go on a little bit further and say that um, you know, even if you're an elder, you still have that desire to learn new things. Um, just in um, Han's last video, he learned some new things about Steve Ditko's time at Marvel and how he helped out on this comic called Daredevil. Y'all may know Daredevil. I think his name is Matt Murdock. Blind guy, walks with a cane. I don't read a lot of Daredevil. I got some. Anyway, Bizarre Comics. Check them out. If you want to see a lot of Bizarre Comics, check out the video link in the description below. Head on over to Captain Strange Life's Strange Emporium of Bizarre and Racy Comics and just fun action. Fans, this is the great legend saying peace out. God bless.